Intergalactic, if I could put it into three words. Fun. Exciting. Fast. I would say Intergalactic is empowering and prophetic. Intergalactic is set 150 years in the future and it's set at a time when there has been ecological collapse on Earth and humanity has managed to save Earth with the help of a new element that has come from another galaxy. And that new element has enabled intergalactic space travel and it's enabled colonization of another galaxy. But our story starts actually with a young rookie cop. The premise of Intergalactic is that Ash Harper, brilliant young cop, is forcefully accused of stealing New Aurum, which is, you know, the energy source of, of that time. Someone plants New Aurum in her belongings and then she's arrested. <laughs> she would really never, 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 never do that. I've been set up. Why would someone want to set you up? I don't know. She has no idea what's going on. And then she's shipped off onto a prison ship where they're going to take these prisoners all off plan. And then there's a mutiny on the ship and the prisoners take over the ship. Nobody move. But then they realise that they need Ash because she's the only pilot. And then what that starts is a kind of road movie through space with Ash whose mother runs the Commonwealth, which is, you know, the equivalent of kind of the UN, and her trying to, you know, get back to Earth and, and get the ship back, while the criminals are trying to get to a place called Arcadia. So the, the places that our crew in the Hemlock go and visit on their journey to Arcadia are all different pieces of the visual and tonal jigsaw of the universe. You feel quite travelled been on this show. Because you've got a group of misfits at the beginning in a vehicle, which is the hemlock, and they're trying to get from A to B. But at each point throughout the story, there's little stop-offs. For whatever reasons, we are always displaced and then diverted and then find ourselves meeting these wonderful characters who are with us for one episode, who are extraordinary and always cause us more grief than we need. One of the most fantastic things about this job is you have women at the forefront holding their own. And that hasn't happened in British TV for a long time, to this extent and the quality of work, and in space. As a writer, I'm always interested in putting women at the front and centre of their own stories. There's no scene in which we all go, hey, we're all girls. There's no, there's no reference to it, and that's what makes it absolutely brilliant. It's not a bunch of guys deciding it's time they wrote a drama about women. It's two women writing human beings, seven of whom happen to be women. Also, must hasten to add two absolutely brilliant boys who are there with us. To be around all the girls that are leading the show, I mean, they're all nailing it. They're all, they all look amazing and they're strong, independent characters. But I think it reflects how society is changing. You know, there is a lot more important roles for women, and that's what we need to see more. I don't think this programme will be good because it's got a lot of females in it. It's going to be good because they're brilliant actors in their own right, whether they're male or female. Those core group of, uh, of actors are brilliant. That's what makes it a great show. I need to see people like me on TV. I need to see black people. I need to see queer people. It's important. I remember as a kid, I would be searching to see people like me, and it, and it wasn't easy. We've been seeing the same story told for so long. I think it's time for a change. I hope what will make Intergalactic stand out is it's just, it's full throttle. It's sensory overload that, that comes from an emotional place. It's inevitably a group of people who are on the wrong side of the law, some with good reason, some who are entirely innocent. And so they are hunted and they are trying to escape, and they're trying to escape to a better life. I think the audience feel for everyone. Everyone's got the problems, you know, even down to the worst ones. You're invested in their journey and you're invested in their plight and you invest in their relationships, and I think that's what makes it universally of interest. So in some ways it's the story of the loss of innocence and it's a coming of age story, but it's also about these characters learning friendships where they'd never expected and about sort of the coming together of, of these 
disparate people. 